I'm Ellie and welcome to another episode of Chamber Chatting. Uh, today we have Laura Lee Palmer from the Woodlands Area Economic Development Partnership. How are you, Laura Lee? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We are thrilled to have you. Um, so you, tell us about what you do at the Economic Development Partnership or the EDP. Yeah, the EDP is easier to say uh, because when you say Laura Lee Palmer from the Economic Development Partnership, who is the Vice President of Business Retention and Expansion, that doesn't really fit on a business card. No. Wow, or, that's a really big business card. It is, right. Right. Think of those big checks you give to people at an event. That's what my business card looks like. Um, no, so I am the vice president of business retention and expansion for the economic development partnership. That's what I do. And you've been there five and five a half years. years. Five and a half years. Nice. Yes. Almost January, it'll be six years. Congratulations. Thank you. And happy anniversary. Thank you. Almost, right? Mm -hmm. We should celebrate half anniversaries. I agree. Just like unbirthdays. So that was exactly what I thought. It was unbirthdays. <laughs> Mad Hatter Tea Party. <laughs> you have a very long title and a very long name. What does all that mean? Um, what does that mean to your day to day? To break it down for us. Well, um, business retention is what economic development, the, the our organization was built upon. So long ago, the development company was recruiting companies here to the woodlands. They were building the buildings, and they said, "Gosh, we need somebody who can." make sure these companies stay here and are connected to resources in our community so that they want to expand their businesses here and they can build their businesses successfully. So that's where EDP began. Mm -hmm. And so it's evolved over the years. Um, and so now that's the program that I run is to be an advocate for our local businesses. Um, and so day-to-day -day activities for me are meeting with um, our various companies in the Woodlands to, to check in with them, see how things are going, what are the things they need help with, um, and sometimes those are pretty straightforward requests and sometimes they're kind of crazy and weird and those are the fun ones. Yeah. 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 What's a kind of a crazy and weird one that you can, you don't have to go into super specifics, but, um, like just kind of the uniqueness of, you know, Oh, nature. you know, th this was a long time ago, but, um, moving a light pole, you know, they, somebody said, Oh, we got a brand new sign. Um, and, but there's this big giant light pole right in the way or a telephone pole right in the way of our, um, of our brand new monument sign. How, can we move that? And, you know, so we worked through the proper channels and, and ultimately had the pole moved. But that one was kind of like a little bit outside the norm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's one thing that um, I think is so fun about economic development is how every day is new and every day is different. And you kind of get to be the great connector and the great facilitator. Definitely. Yep. That's the Definitely. fun part. It's a fun gig. Um, okay, so Larley, you've been here for a long time, and you've been were involved in this community um, before you even started working for the um, the EDP. Tell me about some of the things that you're involved with, and. Uh, Maybe some specific ones that you want to shout out. Sure. I know I will because you won't brag on yourself. I will brag on you. You are a past president of the um, Executive Women's Alliance, yes. which is a great program in Montgomery okay. County um, where business women um, are able to connect and then mentor girls at Conroe High School. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. That's that's one that is um, a, a, one that is super uh, important to me. Um, so Executive Business uh, Executive Women's Alliance is. Um, the, an organization where we get to meet once a month and network, and then we do have a mentorship program with juniors, with sophomores, juniors, and seniors at Connor High School, and we developed a program, a three-year program, to mentor them. And the ultimate goal in all of our fundraising um, goes to provide them with uh, scholarship dollars um, to, on to further education, whether that's yes. traditional college or a technical program or a certification, but to encourage them um, to, to gain more education beyond high school. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely passionate about that one. Um, I've been involved with um, Education for Tomorrow Alliance. At, I officially get to serve on the board um, now, which is really exciting, but I've been a, a judge, a science for mm -hmm. judge for several years. I feel really only qualified to judge um, junior high. Um, <laughs> <laughs> science, once you get to high school, it's really beyond me. I don't, I don't know exactly what they're talking about, but... <laughs> Um, that's that's always really a fun and rewarding day is to be a science for a judge to be to be at SciTech and all those cool events. Mm -hmm. um, so I love that, and I'm excited to be on the trivia night committee this year. Yes, that's such a fun event. We share that committee in common. It's Ellie. a lot of fun. Yes, so we'll, um, that's a fun event. It's um, August August twelfth, I believe. August twelfth, I think it yes, is August twelfth. August twelfth at the um, the Green Palace. Yes, it's super fun. It is a fun a fun event. And I need to go you this year. No, I was going to go last year, but I, something came up. I wasn't able to okay, make it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's super fun. It is, it's I just, don't know that I would be good at trivia. Though. No, but, you, but it's not you all contribute. you know um, uh, super uh, intellectual questions. A lot of them are like, can you identify this cereal? You know. Okay. So like, okay, if you, that yeah, I can do. Yeah, exactly. I, I know my cereal. Yeah. The, the questions are broad enough to where like everybody can participate okay. in some manner. Okay. So it's good to have like a diverse team for sure. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. 
Um, so that's a fun a, a fun group that I get to work with is EFTA. Um, I have been involved in the past with the Lone Star College Women's Conference, um, which they did for, I think, four years consecutively, mm-hmm. um, which was a great event. And I was on the planning committee for that for, for all four years. That was a, a fun conference. And actually, one of the keynote speakers of the last year was one of my very best friends who lives in Memphis. And uh, who was that? that's relevant to this. But Sean Carroll Sandy. I'm a big fan of hers. Yeah, Sean nice. Carroll Sandy. She's the owner of the, uh, the chief revenue officer of the selling agency. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Yes, very she's cool. super cool. You would actually really like her. Yeah, there's not many people I don't want. No, but like you would, you would be a fan of hers really? for sure. Okay, mm-hmm. I'll have to, I'll have to Google her. She's one of my favorites. I have to think of some of the other things I've done. I'm, I'm trying to think through. I was, um, I was involved in the um, planning committee for Interfaith's Five Fish Year Luncheon. Oh. I've done that before. That was a big honor. Um, I'm involved this year with Texas Diversity Council. Um, and their Women's Leadership Symposium panel. So they have a group of women leaders um, speak about, the topics are always a little bit different. Last year, the conference was um, about, you know, kind of balancing work life. Um, I need to go to that one. Yeah, so it was some big executives um, with some recognizable companies, you know, in the Woodlands area um, to address. It was a large crowd. Mm -hmm. It was a really big crowd. But that's put on by the Texas Diversity Council. Um, we, we certainly interface a lot. I mean, this is less in our community, but with the Greater Houston Partnership, which is our regional chamber of commerce, economic development, and international trade organizations kind of all wrapped into one. So, uh, serve on a lot of committees with them. Yeah. Um, My goodness. When do you sleep? (laughs) Occasionally between two and four. Yeah. (laughs) I I think I'm right there with you. (laughs) Um, so, Larley, in addition to being on all those other things, you're also very involved in the chamber, um, especially with the mobility team, um, So, which is under the Business Advocacy Council here. So tell me a little bit about that and why you're involved in that and what that means to you. Well, the mobility team, um, I've been involved with them for um, probably four years now um, and attending those meetings. And they mobility is such a key issue in economic development. Mm-hmm. Um, if you don't have... Uh, great mobility in your community. It's certainly hard to recruit new businesses sure. and more people to come to your community um, if you don't have mobility within within your your community. Mm-hmm. Um, so so that's a that's a big part of economic development. So it's nice to be involved with that and really get to hear a lot of the early decision and planning about the mobility strategies in our county. So outside of mobility team, what is your favorite chamber event? I think the four o'clock speaker series is my favorite event. It's a newer event to the chamber, um, but I love it because it is. Is a at a great time of day. Who doesn't want to leave a little early and um, get to network and maybe have a cocktail? Um, but you get such great information. All of the speakers have been so dynamic mm-hmm. over the the the, um, the last four o'clock speaker series. People that you don't necessarily just get to go hear speak. Absolutely. Um, and and to hear them in um, an open forum setting where they can be asked questions and you can engage with them mm-hmm. um, makes that a really unique event. So I like that one. That's a good answer. I like that one. Okay, Larley. So we like to ask all of our guests a special question. Um, so just to get to know you a little bit better, but I want to know um, if you, if your life was turned into a movie, um, who would play you? I, you know, this one is surprisingly easy for me to answer because I've I mean, I've only thought about it, you know, just a handful of times. Right. Um, <clears throat> to be totally humble. <laughs> Sandra Bullock. Whoa. Oh. Sandy. Yeah, Sandy and I are soulmates. She doesn't know it yet, but. To Sandra. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Well, like what, what kind, like what element of Sandra? Is this like the blind side Sandra that plays you? Is this like. Well, she the, plays a lot of the strong. speed Sandra. Yeah. I've seen the speed <laughs> the Sandra speed, in her. Yes, yeah, driving Sandra. that bus. Why like, Sandra? Yeah, but in control. She is, uh, she always plays, a, not always, but in a lot of her movies, she plays a strong Southern woman. Mm-hmm. And um, I sort of think of myself that way. So that's why I would choose her. I like, I like it. it. Mm-hmm. Um, well, Larry Lee, thank you so much for coming on today. You are you're one of my favorite people ever. Um, and it was a privilege to talk to you more. And I love that you could join us on Chamber Chatting Well, today. thanks so much for having me. This was fun. Yeah. Thank thanks. you. So I'm Ellie P. And I'm Holly P. And we're here with Two Peas in a Podcast. Um, so today, uh, we are going to talk about what is coming up with the Chamber. Uh, tonight, actually, we have our Meet the New Members event at Russo's Pizza on College Park Drive. This is a complimentary event from 5.30 to 7.30, and it is a terrific time to 
uh, come to Edith's Note the Chamber. Uh, so if you are within your first 90 days of membership, we invite you to also come and give us a commercial about what your business is, what you do, um, and we're excited to have you as a new chamber member. Yes, absolutely. And it's a, it's a great opportunity to get in front of a lot of new businesses within the community. And it's very well attended, too. Absolutely. So. Our, our, we usually have about... from between like 60 to 80 members mm -hmm. um, at the new member, um, meet the new members event. Yes. Um, which is a terrific turnout. Yes, absolutely. So it's definitely a fun event. You get to give your commercial yeah. and introduce yourself to us. Uh, also on Wednesday, May 25th from 10 to 2, we are having a community job fair presented by Candor Group Incorporated. It'll be at Sam Houston State University, the Woodland Center on College Park Drive, fourth floor. There are sponsorship and booth opportunities available. Uh, if you want to get more information about the event, uh, contact Special Events at 281-367-5777. Yeah, so this is a great opportunity if you're job seeking or if you're an employer looking for um, some great employees and some great talent in the Woodlands, this is a great time um, to come out. And even just to network, if you're just wanting to kind of, you know, you're welcome to pop in and pop out and, you know, you don't necessarily have to be resume ready, um, but just to get some good networking in. Um, if you've just graduated from college, oh, uh, this yeah. is a great That's opportunity awesome. yeah. to uh, just to come in and see who's hiring and, and meet some faces and um, and get your resume out there. So this is a terrific opportunity for you. Definitely encourage you guys Absolutely. to take advantage of it. Absolutely. Uh, and also, uh, the chamber is going to be closed Monday, May 30th yes, for, for Memorial, Memorial Day. Day. And I hope all of, all of you are as well as um, celebrating uh, with your families and with your loved ones. Um, we love those Mondays off. Absolutely. A good three-day weekend. Or is Wednesday going to be? I'm I mean, sure. you're never, like, not on the air. Right. But. Yes. No, I'm sure. I'm sure I will be uh, doing something on Memorial Day. <laughs> well, I hope it involves some sort of vacation that you feel. Right. It's a good kickoff to summer and a fantastic way to um, remember those have gone before us and uh, Absolutely. have the freedom that we have. Yes. All right. All right. Thanks, Holly. So this is Thanks, the Two Peas in a Podcast with Ellie P. And Holly P. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.